Join me today for an unboxing of the game Lore. Okay everyone, I have gotten Lore in the mail and I am so stoked to open this up. I have been waiting and waiting for this for about a year now since I kickstarted it and I just thought that I would let you guys in on when I open the goodies and I can't wait to get to it so let's get to it. And yes, I'm using embroidery scissors. I cannot find my other pair for the life of me. I don't know how many of you guys know this but I am like crazy crafty. I love quilting and sewing and making soap. I've done book binding which is what these are right here. I rebound those and I actually film all of my videos down here in my basement in my craft room. So I have kind of a dual functional space. I've got my YouTube backdrop over here and then against the whole other wall are cabinets and all of my supplies and stuff. Hence the embroidery scissors. I have done a ton of embroidery in my time. This jacket is not embroidered by me, but I have a bunch of them that I have embroidered. Um, anyway, I'm sorry, off tangent, but uh, off on a tangent, but let's get into the box now that I've finally gotten it open. So, I'll, I'm so excited about this. So we have lore. So I, oh, just look, okay, it's bigger than I was expecting it to be a little bit. And I am loving the cover art. I just love this like ye olde art style. I don't know why I'm such a sucker for it. I think it looks almost like watercolor, like digital watercolor. But Y'all, I'm gonna have to get up and go fix that camera angle so you can see my table better. Give me a hot second. All right, hopefully that's a little bit better. Now you've got my whole table out in front of you so you can see a little bit better. You might see some of the tools that I use, but just don't pay a ton of mind to them. Oh, even from the back of the box, it looks so good. Garbage off and it's like the best moment is like opening the box and I love punching stuff out. I'm addicted to it. It's like half the time I just buy board games to punch stuff. So first thing I have in the box is this really pretty piece of art. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it is really, really pretty. I love the night sky. And so pictures with like the night sky in them always are my favorite. So I've got the rules of play, which I will have to go through later today and read so we can play. I also got, I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but I've got a board. It does have a little bit of a ding in it, but I think it should be fine. And then on the back, it looks like this. Oh, I love that. I don't know if you guys saw it. It says lore right here. It's really, really pretty. And then there's the back. So I've got that, and then these are what I'm really excited about all of this part. All of this stuff, so I'll move this out of the way. Just look at how stunning these boards are, you guys. They're double-sided, so there's the knight, and then on this side is the paladin. And just look at how pretty those flowers are in that field, and that art is right there. Oh, so I'm a big Akatar fan, if you can't tell, and I feel like this is almost like Akatar vibes. So, and then we have the rogue mat, which again has a little bit of a dent in it. Yeah, it's okay though. I'm not, I'm not, not a big enough one to make me mad, but I've got the rogue on this side and then there is the band on this side. And then we have the wizard board and the enchantress board. I just want to show these all to you because I love the art on this. I can't get over it. This is probably one of my favorite games art wise. I love this style. Um, and then there's the princess and the prince and the prince side. Oh, I just think it looks so good. Okay. You guys are going to die because I'm going to be stopping every five seconds to show you how pretty everything is. We've got this with this really pretty backside. I kind of wish I knew what everything was before getting into it. Aha! Okay. I, before, I forget, before I get into everything else, I have an obsession with fake gems in games. It is my weakness. I love them. If they include them in games, it just makes my whole day. And these ones are nice and big and chunky. And they are beautiful. They look like high quality. They don't look like the cheapy. I don't know. Sometimes I've gotten some in games that just feel like crap. These ones look really nice. I love the, I love how sparkly they are. They have gems, I'm so stoked. They also have these cute little gems too to go with your big ones. Oh, okay. 
And then there are also some fun die here. And then they have these, I'm assuming that these are like crystal die or something like that. Like they all have little crystal symbols all over them. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera. There are a few little crystal pieces and then there is a like crown on one side. All right, as far as more components go, they have these cubes that come in various colors and then they have these and the, yeah. So then they have these other pieces which look like they're associated with certain players. I love this moon and sun piece right there. But they also have quite a few more. So that is it I want to say for yeah, that's it for like the physical components. Then there are also cards and we have the we have a merchant board with some really beautiful art on it. It's the same back and front on this one. This one is not the throne room. With just like, I guess on that last one, there are just a few variations. Like the back is just art and the front has little places for you to place cards. This is the one that I've been really excited about. I wish that I could just get a mural of this painted on my wall. I love that. And this Wizard's Landing one, it's so pretty. The Sky Kingdom and then the Ancient Ruins. You can pause it if you wanna see it a little bit more. I'm trying to flip relatively fast. Oh, I love this one. So there is the Mystic Lighthouse on one side, which again is my night theme that I love so much. And then on the back side of this one has the Edge of the World, which has this beautiful rainbow. And I love, I love, I love crystals. So I'm not into like crystals holistically necessarily, but I do love how pretty they are. And then I've got Mermaid Cliffs and the Starfield. I'm so excited to dive into these stories. Um, I'm a sucker for all things mermaid too. I actually used to, I used to be in a mermaid show where I would put on a mermaid tail and go swimming in a tank full of sharks, little sharks. I'll have to present, or I'll have to say that beforehand, but we had some black tip reef sharks and stuff like that in there. But so this one is Paradise Prairie and then the Crystal Mines. I don't know if I said that already. And that's kind of the just for those components. These are what I, honestly, these boards are what I've been so stoked about. But I was saying, I used to be in a mermaid show. I swam in a tank with sharks and I kind of missed that a little bit. So if anything has mermaid theme to it, I'm a little bit impartial to that. Yep, so those are the boards and then they have these cards. Okay, so they have these really beautiful cards. which I am, I love the look of this princess card and the wizard card. They did a really good job with the wizards in this one. He looks a lot more like Lord of the Ringsy than he does look kind of gimmicky wizard. Then there are these cards right here. I'm gonna have to include some B-roll of this. I just am, you guys. I There's so many pretty cards that I don't know how else to show you. I love glittery, sparkly things. Yep. Okay. So I am going to just have to insert some B-roll in order to show you guys some of the cards because I can't, there are too many of them to focus on and I can't show you well enough on the camera. So we've got that for those cards. And then there are also some, there are two smaller decks. There's one that's a lot smaller. So let me show you. We've got the big deck and then we've got a regular size card deck. And then there's also this itty bitty card deck to go with the game as well. So that's in comparison to like a regular size. So size comparison here. And these ones look like ability cards. These ones look like companion cards and a few other things. So I am super psyched about this game and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me open it. I'm not gonna open everything. Well, maybe I will. I kind of wanna get sleeves for this game just because I love the art so much. And even on the box, you guys, like I didn't even show you. Look at how pretty the sides of the box are. I mean, I am just, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I, it's, I just think it's stunning. I can't get over it. All right, yeah, so we have some companion cards and then we've got two, they look like monster cards, companion, companion, true hero, scholar. Um, there are some personality looking, or uh, character cards. 
and it looks like there are maybe some event cards in here as well. Yep, and then there are some monster cards that you might have to face, like a cyclops or a giant octopus. There are some zombies, or a horde of zombies, sirens, things of the like, a manticore. And then there are also some relics involved in this deck. Now for the little, little deck. Baby cards are so cute to me. They're so hard to hold though. My friends have a little mini Uno deck that they play Uno with on airplanes and they were joking with us about it the other day. It made me think of that. Anyway, um, so these ones all have like little symbols on them. Um, they're not like crazy spectacular in the art. I think that they're just supposed to be iconography based cards. And then these ones are abilities. Like you have the Mana Surge where an aura grants, auras grant you six times instead of three plus. Or um, add two gems to any treasure hunt not applicable for rerolls plus one renown or renown whenever you roll a die. Stuff like that. So that is everything that comes in the game. I hope that this was entertaining enough for you because this was definitely entertaining for me. I've been wanting to get this game for so long and I could not wait to open it up in front of you guys and have you take a look at it. And that is all for me today. I don't have anything else. So again, I just wanna say thank you so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate every single one of you so much. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications when we upload new videos on our channel. I appreciate each and every one of you so much, and I hope to see you again here in the After Evenfall community.